Hello, guys. Now I will solve the letter combinations of a phone number. Let's see the problem statement first. Given a string containing digits from 2 to 9 inclusive, return all possible letter combinations that the number could represent. A mapping of digits to two letters just like on the telephone buttons is given below. Note that one does not map to any letters. Let's see the example. Input 2-3. I will uh, return the A, D, A, E, A, F, B, D, uh, and so on and so forth. We are given uh, 2 and 3, and uh, there is 3 choices uh, of the 2, and uh, there is 3 choices of the 3. So we, every, uh, we choose one from these 3 letters, and then choose one from the 3 uh, letters. So basically, this is the backtracking problem because we should exhaust all the possible combinations. Uh, let's do it. So basically, the time complexity will be the exp uh, exponential because we, uh, for, uh, for the length uh, uh, of uh, n, the time complexity will be the three uh, to the length of the. Uh, the letters uh, have three choices and uh, times four to the uh, numbers of the letter <laughs> the number could have uh, four choices because the seven and nine may have uh, four choices okay let's do it we need uh, the list which without our result list array list and do basically uh, each can check if uh, the given digits dot length equal to zero. We simply return this. And then we will get the mapping of the number to the <coughs> letters mapping. Zero map to empty string and one map to empty string and the two map to A B C. Three map to D E F. And the four map to G H I, and the five map to J K A O, and the six map to M N O, and seven map to P Q R S, and eight map to T U V, and nine map to W X Y Z. And then we will use a help function because uh, that can carry more parameters. And finally, we return the result. I will fill the parameters afterwards. Okay, let's first uh, write the help function. Help function. Let's think uh, what parameters do we need. First, we need uh, the uh, string list, which is the result. Now, also, we need uh, the current string. And uh, we also need uh, the string digits. Of course, we need uh, the mapping. And we also need an index because we want to know uh, where we are in the digits string. And the, okay, then base case. Basically, if we reach the end, which means we have we have choose all the choices, we we should add the current string in our result list. So index e equal to the digits dot length. We erase add the current string. And we return, and uh, else that will be our recursive uh, situation. We will first get uh, get the number because we are given a digit that is string, right? So we uh, we get that uh, character and convert that to int. Digits char at uh, index and uh, minus zero. Then we get the uh, in integer mm, and also we will get the candidates which means what the representation of that number mm, can represent uh that represent uh, what le uh, what letters can this number represent that will be mapping uh position and then now we will try every Possibility for int i equal to zero i less than candidates dot length, 
and i++ I use the help function and the result to curl will plus the candidates substring i i plus 1 and then digits then mapping and then index plus 1 that's all uh, the reason that I use string because uh, if I use string builder oh sorry I forgot to uh, fill these parameters result cur is empty and the third digit okay and then mapping and then the index is zero the reason that I use the string not a string builder because if I use string builder I should first append the character and then I should set the length to uh, minus one so it's a little bit uh, annoying so I just uh, add that uh, uh, in the function that uh, I will not have to choose unchoose it will be much uh, uh, easier so okay happy coding thank you for watching